This is a demonstration of a complete lock screen bypass on Samsung's version of Android. This is Galaxy Note 2 running Android 4.1.2. So from the lock screen, uh, we can see what happens on the home screen. Press emergency call, ICE, and then hold down the home button. You'll see we get a glimpse of the home screen. So from here, what we can do is launch an app. So I'm going to try and launch Google Play. You may have seen that flash up. What you can do now is emergency call, dial an emergency number which doesn't exist, for example zero. The call won't go through, and when you press the back button, you see there that I'm in Google Play. And we can repeat this, it's slightly laborious, but there we go, I can now go and uh, install some games or perhaps some malicious apps on this phone. If push back there, see. So, emergency call. Dial an emergency number which doesn't exist, dismiss the error, push back, and you'll be able to repeat this to launch any app on the phone and then potentially install it. You can also use this to dial arbitrary numbers as well. So if I go to the home screen and then launch the phone, let's see if that worked. N not quite. Let's try that once more. I say this is a uh, tricky one to get right, but here we go. Dial a number which doesn't exist, press back. You see there, I'm on the phone screen, albeit briefly, but it is long enough to start dialing a number one digit at a time. So if I get back, I can hit zero on there. So emergency dialer, back, start dialing numbers, emergency call, zero. And there you go, that should start ringing in this case, 00 doesn't connect. But if you do manage to tap in a full phone number, uh, that will dial. You can also access uh, any app or settings. So if I'm going to the home screen, you should be able to launch the app drawer. There you go, you can launch any app from there. And you'll also be able to swipe as well, which I hope to, there you go, that swipes along. So that is how you can bypass the lock screen on the Samsung's Android platform.